alam yang laba di ni ka elah so mana ka piwa ni, mana ka finance piwa finance nampak tak dapat piwa ni, bukan? Alah di ni ko elah so di lesson lekuk lelak jam ni, bukan? Di lesson ni ada ayat so ni, ni sih ni banking ni ya origin so tu ya sah pegal ni, mana ya aku tu ni elah so reading fadah ni assignment ni 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 susunya. Alah tu nampak time ni elah so elah so video pun dah ni. Anda tu ada semua ni dah jadi ko audio ni macam mana? Macam audio live tu lagi dah jadi lo live pun. Ini zaman ni ko ACC tu ya. Video macam dia buat yang si pun. Alas ka PY, alas ka me me pun. Betul apa PY bil? PY tu tu lo jam pun. Ko babi saya aw. Okay. Um, in 1863. So oh wow, this this these little tender things are going on. In 1863. The Samuel P. Chase tries something else. He goes back. I don't really know what the story is. It would be interesting to go back and find out. Why did he give up on this legal tenders? Maybe there was too much pushback or whatever. But so he tries to go for the bonds again. Tries to go for, for, the, for, for the bonds again. This time, what he does is he says to the banking system, I would like to sell you some of these bonds that really have very little, very low rate of interest on them, 2%. I would like you to pay full price for them so that I'm paying 2% interest. And, and that means giving me deposits for them. That's what I would like you to do. So the government goes to the banking system and says, this is what I would like. I would like to be issuing these special 2% bonds, and I would like to get deposit accounts for them. Okay. I'm not going to withdraw these things for gold, because I know you don't have any gold anymore. Um, and what you would give me is, is, is legal tenders. Um, but this is what I would like you, like you to do. Why would the banking system agree to that? to sweeten the pot, said to the banking system, and I'm gonna let you issue uh, banknotes, banknote currency, using these bonds as collateral. Using these bonds as collateral. Issue banknote currency, issue, using these bonds as collateral. I know these are all kind of new words, okay? So let's just play out, let's just, let me just play out what actually happened. What happened, is that the government uses these, and so anyway, the banking system said yes, okay, and the government uh, uh, uses these deposit accounts to buy war goods from the private sector. Okay, again, let's put a G next to these things so that we know that these are, okay. So this is uh, minus war goods from the private sector plus deposit accounts. Here. Plus deposits, private sector. Okay, so here is minus deposits of the government and plus deposits of the private sector. So, the government is basically borrowing from the banking system, and it's borrowing, and the banking system is creating new money by expanding its own balance sheet, deposit accounts here, and the government is using those deposit accounts to pay for workers. Not legal tenders, but promises to pay legal tenders. That's what these deposits are now, right? These are promises to pay legal tenders. Okay. But now, because he gave this nice, uh, because, because they gave this nice feature to the bonds that you could use them as collateral for note issue. Anytime the private sector, now the private sector has all these deposits, maybe it wants some, wants to, to actually withdraw them, okay? And when the private sector withdraws them, instead of paying in the bank's own reserves, the legal tenders, the bank has the right to print notes. Mm. That's the point. So let's, have, let's just suppose that the private sector withdraws all of the deposits, plus bank notes. 
So these are new banknotes that are issued. So these bonds are thought of as the collateral that is backing these banknotes. Okay, meaning to say that if this bank fails, okay, these notes which are out in circulation, these aren't deposit accounts at the bank, right? They're out floating around in circulation. Um, that the this bank is depositing these bonds at a central location, so that if you ever wanted to cash in your your banknote. You don't have to go back to the bank, which may be bankrupt. You can take that bank note and you can, you can get a 2% government bond for it. Okay, that's the sense in which it's collateral. It's backing, it's backing the value of this note. Okay. So it's just as if, it's just as if the, uh, the government had borrowed from the banking system by, allow, by allowing the banking system to write, to write to create money. To just write its own notes. So these are these are one step removed from legal tenders. These are promises to pay legal tender, um, and they're and they're private money. And the key thing is that there was only a fixed number of these bonds, and at the end of the war, that became the money supply that you're seeing up there. Okay, lawful money in the bank. That's where that money came from. Okay, that was. That was a, a, and there's some gold there, and there's some gold there too, because there was resumption of the legal tenders and so forth. Okay, but there's a fixed supply of of base money in the country after 1863. A fixed supply of base money after after 1863. It doesn't expand or contract with the business cycle very much. โอเคอ่าแล้วเราไปมีสรุปก็โกโลว่าหันจันทร์เราอย่าไปแล้วโอเคทีมาตัวนี้ก็เจอเช่นเดียวกันเลยดีดีขนาดเลยเปลี่
ဒီဟာဟိုသူကဒီဘိုင်ကင်းဆက်တာကိုလာရအောင်လည်းပေါ်နာမျိုးပေါ့နော်လက်ကင်းဆက်တာသူဘာပြန်ထုတ်ပြ
ตัวดีๆหาเนี่ยบัดบาดีตุ้ยเอ็งยังบางงี้สิสตามบาดจะมันยิ่งชิดเลยสุดท้ายจะต้องเปลี่ยนเป็นอินสติบัลติเลยส
And so there was an asset price consequences. If, if, if the speculators are selling, you see stock market slaps fall and interest rates rise. They also tried to raise reserves from world money markets, which meant London, okay? Which, which often disrupted world gold markets, um, as a matter of fact. So the United States is this big child, okay, in the world monetary system, and every fall, okay, it throws a little fit, okay, and it causes, it causes the asset market to go crazy, it causes the international gold market to go crazy, okay. Um, eventually, Europe got sick of this, okay, and they sent us some help, Paul Warburg, okay, to help us create a central bank, okay. Um, but we did some of this on our own too. There was an agitation for a central bank um, as, as well. The key, the key moment was 1907, the financial crisis of 1907, um, when uh, J.P. Morgan sort of showed us how we could get out of this crisis ourselves, okay? By creating amongst these New York banks, all of his friends, they, create, they had a clearinghouse and they created clearinghouse loan certificates, which were a substitute for money. So they created, Elastic money supply and elastic reserves, but it was all private and for their friends. Okay, what the Fed did was to say, "Hey, that's a good idea. Let's do that for everyone and with the central bank." And I'm going to show you how that worked. ปะบีเปียเลยเลยสุดแล้วจะเบียวไปบ้าหรอกเดี๋ยวบ้าเดี๋ยวบ้าเดี๋ยวบ้าเดี๋ยวบ้าเดี๋ยวบ้าเดี
ตัวนายแกอ่ะดิเลยမျိုးไซပြိုးซ่ายိတ်တိန်းနေပေါ့เนาะဟာဗက်စ်တင်းစွာပါပြောခြင်းနေဆိုတော့လို့မျိုးလ
ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้
Hello, tahun ni kahjai. Di spek spek di kuda, spek kuda leda ni ada teruk orang. Walau asal si wira aja ada, kalau dia kalau di pasal ni ciri dia. Hello, so, so aku bantu pasal ni tahun ni di pasal tu, tu hari hari tu makan tu kan ada asal si tu yang cari dia, tu apa yang pasal ni dia ni. Ada tu tuan mana kalung yang operasi ni. Hello, so. ดีตัวเดียวเนี่ยเลยเพราะฉะนั้นดีดูแลรูปว่าเพราะฉะนั้นอย่างมีคนอย่างแบบเพราะฉะนั้นอย่างเราเนี่ยเรียกเทียนอ
And the idea of the system was this, that any member bank, okay, it, it's just a bank. It's making loans to its local customers, farmers, merchants, people, Main Street. Okay, these are Main Street banks. So they're making loans, and they're making loans by expanding their balance sheet, possibly, their own deposits. Okay, this is good. This is what we want, supporting business, supporting Main Street. We want these banks to be able to do this. Okay. What constrains these banks from doing this is a fear that if these deposits are withdrawn, you won't have sufficient reserves to make those payments. Okay? We don't want these banks to worry about that. Okay? And how do we make, because then they won't make loans. We want them to make these loans. So we, we create this system of discounts in order for them to replenish their reserves. If they run out of reserves, they can always get more from their local reserve bank. And the way you do that okay, is by using these loans themselves as collaterals, as collateral for borrowing from the Federal Reserve Bank. Okay, this is called a discount loan. Okay. So you're borrowing, you're borrowing from the Federal Federal Reserve System by using this loan as 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 collateral. Okay. Yeah. Or by even selling it to the, if it's if it's in a certain form, you could even sell it to the. To the, to the reserve bank. And the reserve bank will give you reserves. For this. Okay. This is the alchemy of banking, once again. Notice, the member bank is able to make loans good loans to customers without fear of running out of reserves. Why? Because it can use those loans to buy from the reserve banks to get more reserves. And why? Because the reserve banks can create reserves on their own balance sheet. They're expanding their own balance sheet. They're from thin air. These are new reserves in the system. They weren't there before. Elastic reserves, not like the national banking system. Well, that's all very fine and good if you're making a transfer to another bank, but what if these deposits are withdrawn in, in notes? Okay, what about that? Have you thought about that? Yeah, they thought about that. And here's, here's, here's how that works, okay? The, these reserve banks have the right to rediscount at the Federal Reserve. which prints money. Little green pieces of paper. This is how he's explaining it. This is not exactly how it works today, okay? So just be aware of that. I'm just translating what he says into balance sheet so that you can under, understand it. Um, but the point is these things, these things are cash money, right? These are deposits in a bank, okay? These things are cash money that can circulate, okay? So cash also is elastic. The supply of cash also is elastic and can expand and contract to meet demand. That's the whole idea of the Fed. The whole idea the Fed was founded on was the notion that we're living in this agricultural country where the demand for, for money fluctuates seasonally. So we need to have the supply of money fluctuating seasonally, okay? The demand for deposits fluctuates seasonally. So we need to have the supply of reserves back those deposits fluctuate seasonally. And we created a system for that that was based on the idea that banks would be taking their loans to Main Street and using them to acquire these reserves and these notes. That was the idea. If you read the Federal Reserve Act, that's what it says. It says, we're gonna, we're gonna be, we're, the, whole, the assets of the reserve banks are supposed to be uh, uh, these discounts, which are essentially loans to Main Street. That's, that's how it was sold by President Wilson. Okay. Hmm. Demand, 
ဟုတ်ကြတယ်မယ်နော်ပြေလေတယ်ဆိုလာလေးထောင်မိပါလို့ဟုတ်ပါအဲ့ဒါကြကိုဒီတော်များပြောတာကဘန်းအားပြဿ
ไม่ก็ตัวอดีตเราไม่ได้ก็ตัวเราโหดตัวเปิ้ลเจน่ะสมมุติว่าเราโชว์ว่าเลยเจน่ะก็เราตัวเท่าที่ไปมีชื่อ
นามปาฟอร์มเมนต์ดีอาร์เอฟโออาร์ปาฟอร์มเมนต์ดีอาร์เดี๋ยวมาส่วนนี้ลงอ่ะคุณอ่ะบ่เนาะดีนามปาฟ
पावी पिए रेला था मेरा पावी पिए दुनिया था मालू ओके माने था कहाँ सा ना ना हिमाल सोए मु पुआ तू प्लान काम का प्लान लो वादे चुनाव लो मिपल लाना इम्सी बैनर ना ना वो 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 दो जो आन लो ची दो आ जाए आह पर मार रखा वॉर आ दो ग्रेम बेरे जंगे तू मार दिखेता ना जंगे तू दिया वॉर जा दा ट्रस्टरी बेरे जंगे दिया फिर तो ना हुआ लोग प्लान ना इम्सी मला लास्टिंग � Oh, dah lihat tu min. Okay, dihaga, gabung mangga loan loan tu, loan loan biar dihaga tu apa biar lah tu di discount ko R R dua dua. Okay, di mana lah biar tu ada apa tu di kau sesapa lah tu ko. Okay, discount ko lah min. Biar yang discount ko lah tu di mana tengah tu library di mana tu asas asas tu mana biar lah min tu di kanu ko F D no ko tu biar lah min. F D no ko biar lah min. Ada discount F D no biar yang di discount dah lihat tu balai macam apa? Let's see. Nampak. Oh no, not this one. Not this one. So long. When they are money, they will kill out me. Yeah, I got discount. Discount. Borrowing is what I'm doing. More than borrowing because I've got to do that kind of hard. Because I'm going to discount. That is how they are discount your hobby. That we discount. That we discount. Discount got to my body. So he will discount. Damn, how good. Yeah, how good. Okay. Okay. Ta-da. Got it. Okay, got it. เคยไหนนะมันจะทำงานซ่าแล้วคุณอะไรสุดยอดเลยฮาร์ลีย์วันจะเปลี่ยนชิ้นอะไรมาดีลงเงี้ยยี่ปากมันมาลงอ่ะ
but understanding both of those positions, the elasticity position and the, and the, and the, and the discipline position, the monitor's position and the Keynesian position. Okay? They both get at genuine features of the actual system. I find this balance sheet approach very helpful for letting us know when, when one approach makes sense and when we, should be, when we should be focusing on the other approach. Because this is always true. The balance sheet approach is, is really just a relationship between debits and, debits and credits. So this will, this will always work for you. Whether you're talking about state money or whether you're talking about private money, um, you can use the same language. So it's a great bridging technique. And that's why, that's why I emphasize it um, in this course. Okay, <laughs> ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้
ဒီဘာလိုကိုညီတောင်ချွာဆိုပါနော်ကွာတကယ်လို့အင်မာဂျင်ဒီတစ်ခုဖြစ်လာပြီဆိုတော့ဘယ်ကဘယ်လိုရ